Hey, what's up, guys? I'm live. I'm live. I couldn't get on the call at 9.30, but I'm going to do a live video really fast, dropping some nuggets on you. So please drop your comments where you're viewing from. What's your name? I got some great stuff to share with you tonight before I wrap my night up. And this topic is going to be about investing in yourself, right? So if you're coming on, just please let us know your name, where you're tuning in from, what state, what country, right? The 300 to Freedom Movement is international now, baby. So we have people from all different walks of life, a part of the movement, running with us, locking arms with us, making the vision come alive. So please drop your name and where you're from. I'm gonna get started here in a few minutes. I'm gonna get some people some more time to get on. Somebody's in for a breakthrough right now. Somebody's in for a change. Somebody's in for transformation right now. Somebody's gonna experience financial freedom from what I'm gonna talk about in the over the course of this video. This is my way of making it up to you because I did fail to do the 9.30 p.m. conference call. Yes, I do see you, Const. I see you, brother. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, man, I tried to respond to my fan page and it just kept saying that I'm not able to reply. So I'm going to get back to your uh, message as soon as I'm done with this live video, man. But anyway... Invest in yourself, right? That's the topic of, of this video is investing in yourself because I can tell you uh, every area in my life that I've ever succeeded in, every area in my life that I've ever mastered was because there was a time period where I really, really invested on growing in that area, right? There was a time period where I really, really invested in myself in that area, which is why I became successful. And that's in any single area of life, right? You got to invest in yourself if you want a greater outcome, right? Because what goes in goes out, right? And, and what goes in your mind, what you consume, uh, what you are learning, what you're getting educated on, the knowledge that you're absorbing, all of this stuff is be, is going within you, right? And then that's going to create some type of result because whatever you're putting inside of yourself is what you're going to get out, right? So if you have the right mindset, if you have the education, the skill sets, and the knowledge to get whatever it is that you want out of life, you will continuously do do that, but you have to continuously invest in yourself because that's the most sick, this, the most important investment you would ever make in your life is in yourself, Right. You can never change that. I can get one hundred dollars right now, but it's going to be spent on something else. Right. It's going to be spent on probably gas or shoes or, or clothes or something that I don't need. But now if I take that same hundred dollars and I invested it back into my business or I invest it back into my personal development or I invest it back into an ad or something like that. Right now, something is going to come out of that. Does that always mean that a result is going to come out of that or I'm going to make profit? No. I may invest a hundred dollars into an ad and may not make shit back. That's just the truth of it. But here's what I learned. I learned something from every single thing that I invest in, right? Whether I get the results from it back, at the end of the day, it's all feedback. Because a lot of people, they're afraid to invest in themselves. They're afraid to invest in the education they need to break free. They're afraid to invest in the tools they need to take their business to a next level. They're afraid to invest in their mindset, personal development. Right. But it's the single most invest, the single most important investment you will ever make that's going to cause a change and an impact on your life. As long as you're investing in yourself, you truly can never, ever lose. Right. And that's the thing that most people don't realize in life is as long as you're investing in yourself, something's going to come out of that. Right. And it's just like that's how I was in business. That's how I was in business is why it never really was a big it, I was never one of the two, one of those people who were too skeptical in business, right? I was always the person who saw the idea, I saw the vision right away, and I joined right away. I just pull out my credit card and I joined right away. That's always how I was. Um, and the reason for that is because I believe in this concept, right? That if you invest in yourself, if you invest in something, you're investing in, in it, right, for some type of outcome, right? And you may not always get the outcome you want right then and there after making the investment, but the feedback you get from that investment you make is where your power lies because you're going to learn something from it. You're going to grow from it, right? You're going to get better from it. And just too often we give up on ourselves before our biggest breakthroughs happen in our life, right? We tend to give up on ourselves right before, right before our biggest breakthrough, we throw in a towel, right? We give up because we're not realizing that 
feedback is just as important as success is, right? Failing is just as important as succeeding is. And that might sound weird. You might be like, John, what do you mean failing is just as important as succeeding is? It is. And the reason why is because failing is our greatest teacher, right? Failing and going through experience and experiencing something, getting feedback from something we've done is our greatest teacher to know how to come back later on and be better, to know how to come back later on and be more effective, to know how to come back later on and be more educated, right? And that's how I always look at my business. Whenever my business went low, I always use that as an opportunity to grow, right? I always use that as an opportunity to read, to go through training, to learn something I didn't know before. And right after that, I'll always have a major, major, breakthrough after investing in myself see a lot of people they look at a hundred dollars and they hold on to it they're afraid right they don't want to lose that hundred dollars right because they're afraid that if I lose it I will never get it back the truth is you're not gonna get it back anyway right because you're gonna spend it on something anyway that you don't need you're gonna spend it on probably food or something that you don't need so that money is gonna be used regardless the difference is is it gonna use be used for something that can make you more money or is it going to be used for something that doesn't allow you to make more money? And that's the difference. Really and truly, money is nothing but a tool. That's all it is. It's a tool. And depending on how you view it is going to determine how much of it comes into your life or how much of it doesn't come into your life, depending on how you view it. But if you view money as a tool, as something that you can get working for you, right, to make more money for you, to make more time freedom for you and, and cause you to leverage your time and make more money, now you're really getting into the power of what money is supposed to be. Most people in the world, they're working, trading in their time for money. But that's not really uh, how real, real growth happens, right? Because money itself has a mechanism within itself where it can generate more of itself. We don't have to continuously work for money. We don't have to continuously put more hours in to make money, right? That's, that's a false concept of money. There are certain things I can do right now, push a button, spend $100, and make $500 from that, Right? Off of some type of investment, $100, but if I'm afraid to, to invest that $100, I can never make the $500. And I would never learn from, from that mistake, right? I would never learn and grow. So a lot of times, if, if you really want to know, I spent over, <laughs> I literally, I spent over like $20,000 on investing in products, personal development over the course of my career, right? Not in one day, of course, but over the course of my career, I've been through trainings, right? High ticket trainings. Trainings that cost a lot of money, trainings that were cheap, right? I've been through a lot of different stuff. So I know firsthand that the only reason why I'm here today is because I was willing to invest, right? I was willing to learn something new from somebody different. Did that, does that mean that every single training I went through benefited me? No, right? But I needed to learn. I needed to grow. I needed to understand, look, I'm getting closer to the results I want, right? I'm getting closer to the education level I need to bring about the results that I want in my life, I can either turn back, right, and walk back, or I can realize that, look, I came too far. I've learned way too much. I've grew way too much to ever look, look back, right? And once you realize that, that investing in yourself is the single most important thing you can ever do to get back 10 times fold, that's when your life is going to change because you're, not gonna look, you're no longer going to be fearful of what you're going to lose. You're going to start to focus on in life what you're going to gain, right? So I don't always, I don't watch what I'm losing. I, there's been times when I spent my last $500. There's been times when I spent my last $100, right? I spent my last on stuff. Didn't have anything else, but I spent my last on stuff because I'm focused more on what is this investment in myself is going to allow me to do right later on that I can't do right now. And then I'll invest it with no problem because I know the single most invest, most important investment you can make is within yourself. How many different ways can you invest in yourself? I'm going to give you so many different ways you can invest in yourself. You can invest in yourself getting a haircut. You can invest in yourself personal development, reading books. You can invest in yourself by attending a webinar, attending an event. You can invest in yourself by buying a product, getting coaching from a mentor. You can invest in yourself by uh, going to the spa, getting a back massage, going to the pool. There are so many different ways of investing in yourself, but you have to realize that it's not always about the money. Right? It's not always about the money you're losing. It's about what you're going to gain. right? And that's where people... Uh, oftentimes stay in this box in their life. They stay in this level where they can never get past because they're afraid to invest. They're afraid to lose so they can never gain. But like I said earlier in the last, uh, the, the video that I made early on, I said that I talked about the law of reciprocity, right? If I put something in, I'm going to get something out. That's the law of reciprocity. So one of the laws of the universe, right? And only people who are, 
Every seven figure earn people who are truly successful, they understand the concept of law of reciprocity. They understand they have to give in order to get right. They understand they have to give in order to get. That's how the law of reciprocity works. Right. I can't just live my life expecting to get, 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 because if it's all about me, 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 me. Right. Guess what? Nobody's going to want to join me, 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 because at the end of the day, this is a people business. At the end of the day, people looking at a business opportunity, they want to know what's in it for them. How can the opportunity help them? How can this team help them? How can this training help them? That's what it's about at the end of the day. See, before you get started in business, you have an outlook of it, right? Where you're the customer, as they would say, or the prospect, right? Before you get started in business. But once you make a decision to get started in business, you turned to a whole new, you're, you're now the entrepreneur, right? Even though you may be still growing and learning, you're now a business owner. You're running a business now. So you have to switch off your mindset from what's in it for me to what's in it for them. Who are going to be the people I'm going to help? Who's going to be my potential customers? Who's going to be my potential clients? How can I help them? What information can I give them to empower them? What information can I give them to educate them? See, your breakthrough is right around the corner, guys. I'm telling you, do not throw in the towel. I'm telling you, do not throw in the towel. Your breakthrough is right around the corner. And, and honestly, I don't even know why people give up at all, right? The only way to fail, the only way to fail is to give up. That's the only way to fail, period. Because the only way you can succeed and break through is by perseverance. The only way you can succeed and break through is by persistence. The only way you can succeed and break through is by failing forward, right? By failing, learning from it, growing and getting better repeatedly. That's the only way you can break through. There's nobody on this earth who just woke up in the morning and said, look, I'm an internet market. I'm an expert at this. I know every single thing. You know what? I'm going to make $100,000 next week. There's nobody in this world who's ever done that. Nobody. So to think that you're going to be the, the first person to do it. Is, is, is a very lack mindset, right? And, and a lot of times we perish not because we don't have the abilities, not because we don't have the strengths, not because we don't have the knowledge, we don't have the skill sets. We just don't have the mindset, right? We don't have the level of understanding. That's why we perish and we lack vision, right? And I, always, and I told somebody one time, I said, look, sometimes people, there are people out there who will never work for free, right? In order for them to do anything, they got to have a paycheck attached to it. Right. And that's the only reason that's their biggest downfall, because the only way they'll do something or take action is if they have a paycheck attached to it. You may say, John, what do you mean by that? Aren't they making money? Well, here's the thing. Yeah, they're making money, but most likely they're going to be settling. They're going to be settling. They can be earning much greater, but because it's got a paycheck on it. Yeah, we'll pay you one hundred dollars for your time every single week. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. It's got money attached to it. Right. But then you have other people who have a vision. Right. They have a vision. They see something bigger. They see something greater and they take action on that vision. And for months or years on end, they may take action and not get any results. They might not make any return on investment. They may, may not get into profit mode until years down the line. But guess what? Years down the line, when they're having success, it's more successful than anybody else. You know why? Because they had a vision. They had a vision, right? A big vision. It wasn't about the paycheck right now. It was about the vision later on. What is all of this stuff I'm doing now, investing in myself, the steps I'm taking now, how is this going to make my vision come true each and every day, slowly but surely? That's how millionaires think. They don't think about, I know people out there who are so smart. Look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what a smart person would do. A smart person will even work with a seven-figure earner for They'll even work for a six-figure earner for free or eight-figure earner for free. You know why? It's not about the fact that it's free and they're not getting paid. That's not what it's about. See, if you're focused on the fact that, oh, they're not getting paid to work with them, you're missing the, you're missing the point, right? The point is that when you're working alongside a seven-figure income earner or a six-figure income earner, when you're working alongside with them, the real beauty and the real uh, gem that you're supposed to take away from that is the experience you're gaining, the skill sets you're gaining, Right? the different level of mindset you're getting exposed to. For me, I will work for somebody who's making way more than me for years on end for free. You know why? Because I know that by the time I'm done working with that person, there's nothing that will be able to stop me. I'm gonna break through to a whole nother level because it's just like the same concept. If you took somebody who wasn't, uh, let's just say, who wasn't a professional basketball player and you started making them play with professional basketball players, what's going to happen is their level of skills are going to go up because they're around people who are better. They're around people who are more athletic. They're around people who are stronger. They're around people who's more competitive. So naturally, if you're around people like that, you're going to get better. You're going to improve. So it's not to be looked at to say, oh, wow, this person is working with them for free. That You're missing it. You're totally missing it. I was reading a book. 
I, I think it's by Russell Simmons. He was tell, saying how he's worked with some mentor for years on end for free. Right. And he's a multi multi millionaire now. Right. And he, but it wasn't about him working for free. He didn't mind that he was working for free. It was about the experience he was gaining. It was about the skill sets he was learning. It was a, that's what it was about. Because what people do is, is natural. People get started in the business. They're desperate usually. They want money. So they do all the wrong things thinking that, oh, this is how you make money. This is how I make money. So they're desperate doing all this desperate stuff and the money just eludes them. But let me tell you something. If you get into any industry and you simply focus on chasing the skill sets, skill sets, that's plural, right? Not one skill set. Every industry has multiple skill sets. There's multiple different things of aspects to business that you master at different points, but you know, in your career. That's how it happened for me. I didn't just come in one day and one week mastered every single thing. That's not how it happened. As I went on years over time, I got better at this. I got better at that. Sure, there were some things I was naturally good at, right? Like videos, I was naturally decent at that. I got better, right? Because I kept uh, focusing on that skill set. But there were other things that I wasn't good at yet, right? Posting ads, right? Sending emails, copywriting. There were other things that I needed to master over time. So when I start to focus on building my skill sets, getting better at these things that's allowing people to have success. Because to be I'm telling you right now, to have the mindset that you can't do it or it's not possible for you is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous mindset to have. To think that you can't achieve something that somebody else has has achieved themselves, it's a very lack of mindset. It's a very, very lack of mindset. And the reason why is because we're all people. We're all humans at the end of the day. We all have senses and we all have capabilities. We all have gifts. We all have strengths. We all have weaknesses, right? And there's no, success doesn't discriminate. That's what I'm trying to say. Success doesn't care about race. Success doesn't care about religion. Success doesn't care about skin color. Success doesn't care about, it doesn't care. Success cares about anybody who's following the laws of success. Right? That's what success cares about. Success does not discriminate. It does not discriminate. It's possible and for the taken for anybody who believes they can achieve it. And that's where I was when I was struggling in my business and why I never gave up because I realized two very important things. The first word, the first uh, very important thing I realized was that I got to invest in myself. I got to invest in myself if I want to get better. If I want to step my game up to a new level, I got to invest in myself. That was the first thing that I knew right out the door. Okay, cool. The second thing that I knew was that there were people um, from all walks of life making money, right? People who looked like me, people who didn't look like me, people who were fat, people who were skinny, people who were short, people who were tall, women, men, all types of different people were having success and getting results. So that led me to my next question. Why not me? Why not me? Have you ever felt like that? Why not me? If it's possible for them, they can do it, they can have success. Why not me? So that's where I was. So then that was the second, the, the second question and I realized I had a great level of understanding was when I said this, I said, look, they just know more right now than me. They're just more educated right now than me. They just been trained right now than me. That's how I was looking at it. It wasn't that, oh, I should give up. This is not going to work for me. Oh, it's not possible for me. I can't do this. No, that's not how I was thinking about it. I was thinking about, look, right now I may not be on their, their level, but I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. I'm going to keep learning and growing until I get there and know what it feels like to be just as successful as them or more. And that's how my mindset has always been, right? So I don't look at failure as failure. It's not failure, right? Even a pencil has an eraser. You know why a pencil has an eraser? Because we make mistakes. We got to learn from our mistakes. Instead of looking at mistakes as a reason for us to just quit and throw in the towel, what if we looked at it as feedback, telling us something? Look, a feedback is telling us something. Look, you got to get better at this. Or maybe you got to get better at that. This isn't right. That's not right. But it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. It doesn't mean that you're incapable. It's just feedback. It's giving you information. Whatever you choose to do with that information is up to you. You can choose to quit or you can choose to do things that empower you to get better, to grow, to reach a new level in your life. And that's in every single thing in business. That's not just in, I mean, that's in life. That's in business. That's in anything, right? This is not just MCA, right? I can bring this up in any single industry. So at the end of the day, when you invest in yourself, something comes out of that all the time, whether you may think it does or not. Even if you took $500 right now and you spent it on a course and that course did you no good, you're better off than the person that will never invest that $500. You're better off than the person who will never invest that $500 to at least find out, to at least see. You're better off. 
So yes, yes, I'm telling you guys, failure is feedback. Failure is feedback. That's what it is in disguise. That's all it is. Just like risk is opportunity misspelled, right? Risk is opportunity misspelled. I don't know a person who's living a great lifestyle today who didn't take any risks. I don't know not one person. So when we think that we're not going to take any risks and we're going to get to that lifestyle that we want, it's impossible. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. If you're walking a straight line and you think I'm just going to walk the straight line, I'm not going to mess up at all and I want to have the life I want, it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. You got to be willing to mess up. You got to be willing to, to uh, get your knees a little bloody, right? You got to be willing to get down in the trenches sometimes and put the work in. You, that's just how it works. That's how it works. Unless you, you have somebody who's going to do all the work for you and you have everything made on a gold or silver platter, at the end of the day, there's something you got it the results that you want and I know like my signal is getting a little weak here okay cool but yeah guys I'm telling you right now these were the the mental shifts that allowed me to break through and it's mental shifts it's mental shifts that get us to yeah, get us oftentimes it's not the nuts and bolts it's not the how-to strategies right because once your game is, once your mind is right, I always say this, right? Once your mind is right, your grind is right. And that's true. Your mind, your mind literally controls everything. Your body, you as a person, you're the temple. Everything runs through you. Everything happens because of you. Everything, any result that you want in your life to create is going to come from because of you. So if you're not investing into the most important thing that's going to create the result in your life, which is you, your mindset, right? Stuff like that. If you're not doing that, then it's going to be very hard to get the results that you want because you're the temple. You're the most important. You're the middle of everything happening around you, right? So you may not be able to control every circumstance around you that happens, but what you can control is how you react to every circumstance. That's what you can control. And the reaction to every circumstance is what determines the difference between success and failure. Me and you, we could both be in the same six circumstances, the very same situation. But how I handle the situation and how I perceive it is going to make all the difference. Or how you perceive the situation or handle the situation is going to make the difference. The fact that we're both in the same situation is one thing. But getting out of that situation is a totally different thing that's going to, it's going to depend on your outlook. It's going to depend on your perception and how you see things. Right? And, and that's why this 300 to Freedom movement is literally blowing up because like... Like I always tell people, this is more than just about making money, right? It's more than just about personal development. It's more than just about training. This is stuff that's like anybody could just, you know, hop on and get value from. I don't care what you're trying to do in life. I don't care what you, if you're at a job. I don't care if you're trying to get a brand off the ground. I don't care what you're trying to do. Anybody could get value from this stuff, right? Because this is just the holy grail to success. No matter what it is you're trying to accomplish in your life, but you got to know that you got to invest in yourself no matter what it is what you're doing and you have to understand that if you're not getting the results that you want you're just not at a level of education or knowledge yet that's all it is there's nothing wrong with you you don't have a problem you don't have a deficiency you don't have an incapability there's nothing wrong with you all it is is that there's some things that you just don't know yet and it's perfectly fine or there's just some mental things that you have to get out the way so that you could get the results that you want some mental things may be blocking you right and a lot of times we're not uh, paralyzed. We're mentally paralyzed. That's that's the being mentally paralyzed is the worst thing that can happen to you, right? <laughs> it's the worst thing. I remember I seen this emoji. I seen this emoji on in, uh, not emoji. Sorry, I seen this meme on Instagram. I'm sorry, we're living in this 2016 generation with all these memes and technology and social media and all emoji and all this stuff. But anyway, I seen this meme on Instagram the other day, and it was like a picture of a horse, and his he was tied up to a plastic chair. Right. And I think <laughs> I think the caption of the photo said something along the lines of like, you know, you don't have like, like basically what the whole point of it was that this horse was tied up to a plastic chair and he wouldn't move because he thought that he wouldn't be able to move if he tried to move because he was so mentally capped or like limited by that chair, thinking that him being tied to that chair that he can't move. So he just stood there. The, the horse just stood there. He was free to go any way he wanted to go, but he just stood there, tied up to the plastic chair, free to move. That's how it is with a lot of us in life. That's how it is. Once we have a mental limitation, there's nothing that... Mental limitation is the worst thing you could have. You got, you're, you're a limitless being. You're a being made to grow. You're a being made to be limitless. Right? So 
to have any mental limitations or any ba mental barriers is only going to cause a lack of success. It's, always, it's only going to cause a lack of growth. It's only going to cause this illusion of a glass ceiling that you can't get past. Illusion. Notice that I said the word illusion. Why? Because it's not real. A lot of times we make up a lot of these things in our head that keep us back from success, but it's not even real. It's just what we made up in our head. It's not real. Like when I first started doing videos, I thought that people were going to think something weird of me or I was scared of what people were going to think. These were all thoughts in my head. It was all in my head. Fears that I had in my head that nobody else cared about. In fact, they loved when I started doing videos. They thanked me for it. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'm 25, man. I know, I know. I'm <laughs> people say I'm ahead of my time, bro. It's just, you know, I've been... Uh, Blessed, man. I've been blessed, bro, to get exposed to some information, man. But yeah, I'm 25 years old, bro. But yeah, like like I was saying, guys, I'm telling you, when you become limitless mentally, there's nothing that can stop you. You'll be, you'll be able to even shock yourself. You'll be able to shock yourself. And this is what this whole thing to freedom movement is about. Releasing that mental limitation you may have. Getting rid of that because it doesn't exist. It's not real. Right? It's not real. If we had analyzed the 97% in this country and we analyzed the one top 1% in this country, you'll see the differences, right? Mentally. It's not even about the physical. It's not even about nuts and bolts. It's about a mental thing, right? Now, sure, some people have been born into money. Some people have been born rich, right? They had hand-me-downs and stuff like that. Different story. Cool. But at the end of the day, if you want to create that lifestyle for yourself and future generations, it's going to take you challenging yourself. It's going to take you challenging yourself and probably doing something you've never done before to get a result out of your life that you've never had out of your life before. That's just how success works, right? When, when I made a decision to get started online business, I made a decision that I wanted to be something different. Why does that make, make sense? Because I made a decision at the same time. I wanted to change my life. So I didn't want to be the same guy I was before doing the same thing. I knew in my heart I wanted something different. I knew I needed to change. Now, the process of going from point A to B, that change takes time, right? It takes time. It's not going to happen overnight, but over time, keep, keep getting into trainings, right? I keep reading books. I keep watching successful uh, interviews with successful people. Over time, constantly being obsessed with this idea of success, with this idea of financial freedom, with this idea of living free, with this idea of helping people, with this idea of making my visions come true. Once you become obsessed with that, I'm telling you, Everything changes. Everything in your life changes. Um, just become a different person at the end of the day. Right? And I'm not, when I say a different person, you become a different person for the better. You start to realize that everything that you've learned and that you've uh, invested in yourself with is not only for you. It's bigger than just that, right? It's not only for me. I invest in myself so that I can invest in other people. That's pretty much what it is at the end of the day. Before I didn't know that, before I just thought I was just investing in myself to make more money, but really it's true, at the end of the day, I'm investing in myself so I can invest more into somebody else, right? Now, there are people who are more successful than I am or whatever the case may be. There are certain things that they may have, products, coachings and stuff that I will invest in. Why? Because if I'm not running a million dollar business and somebody else is, obviously I can learn from them. I don't know what they know. So therefore, I have to be, drop my ego, right? I have to drop whatever I think I know and be open to listen to whatever it is they have to tell me. Right? That's what it is. You got to drop the ego, invest in yourself, and never give up. That's it. That, that, that's how you have success. Drop the ego, invest in yourself, and never give up. That's the only way to have success. Period. It happens quicker for some. It, ha it takes longer for others. Everybody's journey is different. Everybody's pace is different. But at the end of the day, you should feel good and, re and feel encouraged that each and every day you're growing. Each and every day you're learning something new. Each and every day you're exposing yourself and challenging yourself. Each and every day you're taking action. Right? That's, those are all growth mechanisms letting you know that you're headed in the right direction. Those are all growth mechanisms letting you know you're doing the right thing. Letting you know you're on path to your vision. Whatever that may be. Financial freedom prosperity right being able to make more working less now i want to talk really fast before i cut this uh this uh live video off i want to talk really fast about this concept of making more working less and just to be honest with you guys this concept of making more working less is true however however in order for a person to get to a level in their business to where they're working less and still making more they had to have put a lot of groundwork in. The foundation to their business is already set up and it's solid. That's why now they're able to make more money working less. They have done a lot already. 
They've taken action a lot already, and now they're at a part point to make more doing less. So what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to show you right here, right? Look at this corner, right? Look at the corner of this bar right here, This the corner of the bar, right? This bar. And a lot of people, let's say I was over here, right? I was over here, and I wanted to get over here, right? This is point A, and this is point B. You know what a lot of people try to do? They try to go straight from here, straight over here, right? Straight there. <laughs> And, they, and they're not prepared for this. They're not prepared for point B because they cut corners. They cut corners so even if they do have some success, it's not going to last. Because people know when, when you have the real education, real knowledge, and you're taking action, and you're really truly about what you say you're about. People know. So you can try to cheat success today and cut corners and do things to try to get there quicker. right? Now, don't get me wrong. At the end of the day, we all want to make money and have success as fast as possible believe me this is not the slow track to riches this is the fast track to riches right I'm talking a couple years this is not about wait 10 20 30 years no this is the fast track to riches however even that takes a certain level of commitment to get to a level in my life where my, my business is leveraged and I'm making more money doing less work that takes work to even get there so if a person tells you look I'm making a lot of money and I'm doing less work just know that they've done a lot of work in the past which is why they're doing less work today and making all this money that's just how it goes. And we can look at that in any successful person. Look at their journey. Look at their, their look at their track record. Look at a successful person's successful person's track record, what they've accomplished, what they've done. And you'll see why they why they are where they are today. Right? It's no secret. It's no secret, guys. So that's my message for today. Remember to invest in yourself. I'm so glad I got to do this video because uh, you know, I didn't get to do the call. But remember the, the two most important things is you gotta invest in yourself and have a level of understanding that you may just not know yet and that's okay right but but knowing that should be liberating because you know once you do know or once you do learn or once you do have that breakthrough that's something you will never ever have to struggle with ever ever again right so there's some skill sets that you will learn from this business that you will never have to struggle with ever again because you'll have it down and it works no matter where you go what you do it works right and no matter what business you're in no matter what you're promoting that's why I always tell people at the end of the day it's really not about what you're selling, right? You could be selling ping pong ball, balls, lotions, potions, water. I don't care what you're selling, man. You could be selling you could be selling this right here, right? You could be selling this. I don't care what you're selling. At the end of the day, to make sales, it takes the same skill sets. To make sales, it takes the same stuff. At the end of the day, if you want to be successful at selling this, it's going to be the same thing as what a person is going to be successful selling MCA packages. It's going to, more or less, it's going to be the same stuff, right? Sales, marketing, customer service. That's really going to be it. Um, um, proving that this works. Um, testimonials, right? Stuff like that. That's really all it is. The same stuff. I don't care what it is you're selling. It doesn't really matter. It's the skill sets. Chase the skill sets and you'll never have to worry about money again, guys. Peace.